My name is Jack Cathy. I'm from Glen Rose here. Uh, one thing that uh, I was involved with that I had a Walter spot when the first nutrient plant come here, and we went through uh, the same, basically the same thing you're going through here now. And what I want to address is the things that we missed. Uh, environmental studies, they were done, but uh, what I want to address is, is water. The water is the, is the biggest issue of all, I would think, uh, because there's so much a demand for it. And if this plant takes more water than it's already taken, then of course they have to release more water from the Brazos River. However, when they release this water, the plant takes the water, and that leaves nothing coming down the river, the Brazos River. The other thing I'd like to address is the biggest thing that we missed of all is on the environmental studies is what happens after they cool the plant. They release the water down Squaw Creek, which is just a mile behind you here. And that water is extremely hot. It's not warm water. It's hot water. Now then, in the past 10 to 12 years, and I'm just talking about Squaw Creek, which is not a very big area. There were many, many frogs and uh, soft shell turtles, many of them. And nobody in this room has been on that river more than I have. There's no soft shell turtles down there. The frogs are gone. And I've always been informed in environmental. Frogs are the first thing to tell you there's something wrong. And there's something wrong with the release of that water. The water is too hot. It is, it is bothered the spawning of the fish. I don't, when I say there's no, I don't mean there's not any. I mean they're disappearing. The fish, they're still there, but they're disappearing. There's something wrong that needs to be looked into in your study. Very, very serious. Something that's not happening, not something that you need to do later on. It's something that needs to be done right now. It's happening as we're sitting here. And it's it's something on all these studies, and I noticed on that chart over there, it said Oxford uh, studies. I've never seen them. I've never seen them of what happens after the fact. Studies are done about the fish in, in the uh, lake. But nothing is happening, and it's it's just growing right down the river. The uh, it's not it's not the only problem. The problem is with low water. You add hot water, you get hot water down the river in the summertime, and you, all you have to do is go stick your hand in, and it's hot. And it's something that I'd like for you to address, and uh, really. It's never been even looked at. And why why we let it get by, I don't know, but I never thought about it until after the fact. And the only way that I really know about this is first-hand information because I'm on that river every single day. The other thing is, uh, as far as a good neighbor, uh, they, these folks are fine. They, they, when I was down there, they did everything we asked them to do. But this is, this is one thing that needs to be looked into. There, there's just something wrong. <clears throat> and if you add another power plant or two, to me that would increase the uh, flow. Of the, it would also increase the temperature of the water. The water, I understand, it has, can't reach a certain temperature. But when you release that water, it's too hot. You, you need to release the water somewhere where it's not as hot or, or find some cooling system after you place the water, I think, would help the situation. Thank you.